Good morning, folks. If you didn't catch last night's video, I suggest you check it out, especially with a quiet news day today. A comet may hit Mars. This thing is back in the news again, not talking about C-2012 S1 Ison, but siding spring. There's an outside chance it'll hit Mars in late 2014. February 2nd and March 7th of this year, we discussed that comet. NOAA's Environmental Visualization Lab states that the winter ice peak in the Arctic passed two weeks ago and is now melting. NDBC shows one event at our favorite Alaskan buoy, a sudden and pronounced 10 to 12 foot drop in sea level with no correlated wave. Might be another error. Forgive the mistake in yesterday's news video. One person did die in the significant earthquake in Taiwan. The uptick rumblings continue at the Canary Islands, almost two weeks now, and if the past is any indication, we still have a little ways to go. Southern Hemisphere high pressure moving counterclockwise, pulling north on its right side, while the other counterclockwise high to the east pulls south at its left side where the two meet. That convergence of differing air masses is what drives the most significant weather on our planet. North America lacks severe threats today. As this low creeps into Texas tonight, there could be minor storms, but it's mostly a check your local weather kind of day out west. While freezing air punishes the east as the high pressure builds into the Gulf states and into Florida, and we watch that low leave our shores on the top right only to approach Europe, with the memory of that last storm probably still fresh in their minds. Here she comes. Gamma bursts tend to come in pairs, don't they? Got another one last night from the Hercules constellation. The coronal hole stream identified in yesterday's video peaked around the California lunchtime and is now tapering off as we enter its wake. The solar wind gave a left hook to our magnetosphere. The energy captured by the field induced strong resonance from the baseline. There was significant plasma missed by our shields, which reads as red ionospheric absorption. The charged particle flux and geomagnetic instability was evident, KP hopefully dropping back to stay there. Not many sunspots, what solar maximum? The star player only has half the magnetism it needs to fire. The new guy creeping over the limb now is punching out some smaller flares. Earth footprint, the magnetic connection between Earth and Sun, connects on the north-central solar disk between the east and west limbs where the individual connectivity can be found. The umbral magnetic field still shows the coronal hole open to Earth. SDO reveals a weak field beginning to block Earth from its influence. We've had slight energetic flux, the coronal hole effect is waning, but the planets are lining up for days and the watch continues. And to mention again about last night's video, might be review for many of you, but it can help expand our community, and I don't often ask for help sharing stuff like this, so I appreciate it, and I'm a little excited to witness the breadth of your influence. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.